Each of us has at least once in our lives heard some urban legend. Young children are told that if they swallow watermelon seeds, a large watermelon will grow in their stomach. Teenagers like to scare each other with murder houses located next door. What makes urban legends fascinating is that the people who spread them believe they are true. Urban legends arise from mysterious observations, real experiences, and historical events, so they sound much more plausible than ordinary horror stories. Most of them, however, are either not true, remain unconfirmed, or are overly exaggerated. Only a small part of urban legends turns out to be true. Christopher Knight, the Hermit of North Pond. For many years, residents of North Pond, Maine, USA, noticed that objects were constantly disappearing in their homes. Instead of watches and wallets, however, the most common things like peanut butter or apples were missing. Given that they were not particularly valuable, the residents of the city did not bother much about it. It was only when break-ins in their homes began to occur more and more often, in fact, there were thousands of them, that they became seriously concerned. In the end, the police managed to catch and arrest the criminal, the hermit from North Pond, Christopher Knight. When Christopher Knight was only 20 years old, he deliberately went to the forest, where he lived, avoiding contact with the outside world, for 27 years. He stole what he needed to survive, and tried to stay out of the public eye. Cropsy. Bujiman from New York. The story of Cropsy was once a common urban legend that children told to scare each other. According to this legend, Cropsy, who had a hook instead of a hand, escaped from a mental hospital and kidnapped children to kill them in the abandoned Seaview Hospital. Parents often used this story to get their children to keep quiet or go to bed. In the 80s, this legend became a reality. Cropsy stole a bus with children. He is also accused of kidnapping five other children. The body of one of them was found in a shallow hole near Willowbrook Public School. In case you don't know, the Willowbrook School became the center of a national scandal in the 70s, as children who attended it were subjected to sexual violence, corporal punishment, unsanitary conditions, overcrowding, and even unethical medical experiments. Cropsy turned out to be Andre Rand, who worked as a janitor in Willowbrook. Rand was convicted of kidnapping and is still in prison. A real corpse is a carnival prop. Whether they are real corpses or not, they give you goosebumps. If you find yourself in a house with zombies or ghosts, or at a carnival full of mannequins, be careful, because they may not be props at all. In 1976, the film crew went to the Pike Amusement Park in Long Beach, California, to shoot there. During filming on one of the park's creepy rides, a member of the crew pulled the hanging mannequin's arm, and it fell off. After examining the limb, he realized that the skin and bones were real. It turns out that this dummy was not a prop. It was actually the mummified corpse of the criminal Elmer McCurdy. He was killed in a shootout after trying to escape from the police. He was embalmed and prepared for burial, but no one claimed the body, so the undertaker decided to use it as an exhibit, people could see the corpse by throwing a coin in its mouth. Eventually, a man turned up who claimed to be related to McCurdy, and wanted to bury the body. Since then, McCurdy's corpse has been used as a carnival attraction for decades. In the end, the story of the criminal Elmer McCurdy was forgotten, and the body was taken for a fake. When the TV crew finally found the old man, he was buried in a cemetery in Oklahoma. A layer of concrete covers the coffin to prevent someone from making it fun again. The rabid man from Virginia threatens lawbreakers with an axe. In many cities, you can find places that are associated with the most terrible stories, and Fairfax County in Virginia is no exception. For decades, children have told each other the story of the rabbit man with an axe. Presumably, the rabbit man was responsible for the murder and disappearance of children, as well as the appearance of mutilated animal carcasses throughout the district. In truth, the story is not so wild. In October 1970, the Washington Post published an article entitled Fairfax is looking for a man in a rabbit costume. The fact is that one of the couples was injured at the hands of a man, who well dressed in a rabbit costume, threw an axe into the windshield of their car. The man threatened the couple for breaking the law, and then disappeared into the woods. A week later, the same thing happened to another couple. Although he did not resort to such an extreme method as murder, the rabbit man was actually real, as was his axe. The skin of the criminal George, nicknamed Big Nose, was used to make shoes. Horror movies often show things made from human bones or skin. However, in reality, this also happens. George Parrot, or Big Nose, was a Wild West criminal. 
He stole horses, robbed stagecoaches and trains, and even killed the local sheriff and detective. He was soon not caught, and was found guilty of murder and sentenced to death by hanging. After he was executed, no one claimed the body. Two doctors who were present at the execution, asked for the body to be provided for medical research. Although one of the doctors did study his brain, George's corpse was used mostly for non-medical purposes. In fact, he was stripped of the skin from which shoes were made, and part of the skull was given as a gift to a medical protege. The rest of the body was hidden in a whiskey barrel. A pair of George's leather shoes is currently stored at the Carbon County Museum in Rollins, Wyoming. Faceless Charlie from Pennsylvania Many people who live near Pittsburgh know the story of Faceless Charlie, also called the Green Man. Depending on who you ask, you will be told that they were a ghost, a monster, or a simple factory worker whose face was disfigured as a child in an accident. However, the bougieman of the county of Beaver was not just a hero of legend. He was a real man who lived in Big Beaver, Pennsylvania. His name was Raymond Robinson, and he was a normal boy before the accident. He received severe burns from an electric shock while trying to climb a faulty trolleybus line. Although he survived, he lost an eye and nose, and his mouth and ears were disfigured. Robinson liked to walk, but because his appearance scared people, he began to wander the streets at night. Local residents, having learned about this, began to pursue him. Some even gave him cigarettes and beer. Eventually, the story of Faceless Charlie, who by the will of fate was the victim of an accident, turned into an urban legend. The body of the missing girl was found in the water tank of the hotel. Eliza Lamb was a 21-year-old tourist who had come to Los Angeles from Canada. On January 26, 2013, she went missing. For two weeks, nothing was known about her whereabouts until a repairman checked the water tanks at the Cecil Hotel, due to water pressure issues. Inside one of the four large tanks, he found Eliza's naked body. Surveillance footage from the night of the girl's disappearance showed that she was acting strangely. She pushed all the buttons in the elevator or got in and out of the car. Police called the incident a tragic accident, and health officials assured hotel guests that the water entering their rooms was not contaminated, due to the body being in one of the tanks. However, the guests were understandably upset. Boloyan, a mysterious man in a gas mask from Switzerland. The cryptids the usual case. Some of them are extremely popular, such as the snowman or the Loch Ness monster. Others, such as the Mothman or Thunderbird, are not as common. Others, such as the aforementioned Hermit of North Pond or Cropsey, are only known locally. Laloyan most likely belongs to the latter two groups. For about a decade, residents of Mall, Switzerland, have been watching a mysterious man in the woods dressed in a gas mask, jumpsuit and raincoat. Most of those who met the mysterious Laloyan retreated in fear, despite the fact that he did not show aggression. In fact, one witness even saw Laloyan carrying a bouquet of flowers one day. Although questions about Laloyan remain unanswered, one eyewitness managed to photograph the mysterious man, which proved his existence. Balloon Flight Many of us dreamed of flying as children. In movies like Up and Mary Poppins, it looks like a fairly simple task you take a bunch of balloons or just jump down the stairs with an umbrella. Okay, maybe these methods don't work exactly the way we want them to, but there is one person who has managed to get into the air in balloons. In the 80s, Larry Walter strapped 42 weather balloons to a chair and covered a distance of about 5 kilometers in the air in a few hours. To land, he popped the balls one at a time. Unfortunately, they caught on power lines and caused a 20-minute blackout in Long Beach. Although Walter was fined $1,500, he attracted international attention and took part in The Tonight Show. The woman was buried alive and mangled her fingers trying to get out. Most of us have probably heard the story of being buried alive. When the graves are later dug up, people are found with mangled fingers. The story of Octavia Hatcher is probably the source of this legend. She fell ill and fell into a coma in the late 1800s. Soon after, she was declared dead and buried. Within a week, other people began to show similar symptoms, but they eventually recovered. Octavia's husband, concerned that his wife might be buried alive, ordered the coffin to be unearthed. Unfortunately, his suspicions were justified. Octavia was found dead, her face scratched and her fingers bloody. The coffin's upholstery was damaged. Soon the woman was reburied. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos of mysterious stories and photos. Check out this playlist and I'll see you in the next video.